Did you know that you can create a visual report with data that you import via Excel or CSV file? Well, let me show you how with our report builder. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you have data that you have outside of JotForm that you would like to bring into JotForm and create a visual report, you can definitely do that. So as of right now, you can see that I'm currently in my forms portion of my dashboard. So in the top left-hand corner, we're going to choose my forms. We're going to switch over to my reports. Then from here, we're going to click on the button in the top left-hand corner, create a report. And for this, we're going to create a visual report builder. And you can see that we can select from a form that we already are receiving data from, we can import data, or we can create a sample report. So let's go ahead and choose the import data option, then next, then I'm gonna choose my file and we'll do next. And now we have a chance to map those fields into different column types. So we can see over on the right-hand side, everything right now is listed as a short text option. But if we want, we can change it to long text, single select, multiple select, or a number. So for example, the zip code is going to be a number, so we can change that over. But for here, we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and start import. And now we get to name our report and choose that report type to create. Now keep in mind, whatever the name of your file is, that is what this is going to be called. So my file name was called customer data. So just keep that in mind that you'll definitely want to edit that if it's called something else. But we can see over on the right hand side, we have all of our data. So let's go ahead and scroll. Now this first slide is every single piece, kind of like a table of all of the data that was just imported. So if we keep scrolling, we can see that everything is broken out kind of like in spreadsheet view. However, to make this a visual report, we can click on any one of these. We can click the gear and we can see right here right now it is on the text option, but we can change this to a donut chart. We can change it to a pie, a column or a bar completely up to you. Again, we can change the name to let's do a donut chart. And another thing we can do is we can make these smaller. We can make them bigger to take up the entire space, but we can do this for every single piece. So for this one, everyone chose the same thing. So we can see it's going to be 100% in Beverly Hills. Now, if we scroll down here to the bottom, the receive emails, we can see this one is a little bit different. We can have this as a pie chart. We can see that it's 56% true and 44% false. But over on the left-hand side of the screen, we can choose to add an element. So if we want to add in every single graph onto one page, we can definitely do that. So as of right now, we have the basic element. So if we want to add text to this, we wanna add shapes, we can really make this fit our brand. But we're gonna jump over to the form fields and let's go ahead and add the receive emails to this one. And again, we can change this to column and we can add as many as we want to one so all those visual reports are on one page now something else that we can do from here is we can click on the data option and we can turn on and off so we can see on this last name report we can see those values disappear whenever we turn them off and then we have the response value and the total percentage here we can see that the color palette is currently kind of like a pastel rainbow if you want to change that we can definitely change it up, make it look a little bit different. We can change it to greens, blues, purples, or you can add your own palette as well. And down at the bottom, we can also change the colors individually. Now, if we jump over to style, we can change this as much as we'd like. We can change the font family, the size, the colors of the text. You can really make this report your own. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to import your own data into JotForm to create your own visual report, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.